How's it going everyone? Michael here and this is the behind the scenes for the White Crane short film for Aperture Competition. That is the camera we're shooting on. That is a uh, pocket 4K camera. So let's start with the lighting. So these are the three practical lights that I'm going to use for the film. They're, it's almost Halloween, so best time to buy props. These are all just you know stuff I found at the store. For the actual lighting, we're going to be using this SL60. This is going to be my key light. So this light back here is kind of like a fill light. It's to replicate moonlight, even though you're not going to see it too much. It's just you know, a little extra. This is going to be filmed at night time. And for the final light, this is the only extra light we're going to use. This is a light wand. See? So, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put tape in the back and just stick it to the ceiling. Right up there. And my actors and actress are going to be right here. Okay, quick update on the light wand. Originally, we were supposed to stick it to the ceiling. Unfortunately, that did fall off. So what we ended up doing was just uh, putting it on the light stand and have it hanging over the backdrop. So we just did the the black emptiness scene where the only thing you see is the actors. <clears throat> the way we did it is I literally just, if you can see over here, we removed the backdrop. It's just a foldable uh, room divider. And I left the black sheets that we had in the back. It's a uh, wood with uh, black uh, polyester sheets, I think it is, and blasted this Godox light from the back forward and that made it seem like they were just standing in complete nothingness. Alright, so this is day two of the White Crane short film and just uh, a disclaimer so everybody knows this is all shot entirely in my backyard. So for the first day we had this backdrop over here set up right here in this location with uh, those lamps, those props up there. Today what I did was I took that backdrop and I just scooted it over to this little zen garden looking area. Alright, so for our light setup, we use the Godox as the key light. It's a really simple light setup. Key light and backlight. This one's just going to be illuminating the backdrop. And there's a possibility we're going to get a silhouette shot and all we're going to do is turn off the key light and just let the backlight fill everything. Okay, so adding on to our lights, we added a fill light to separate my actor from the background. Love the Japanese accents, definitely. Love the Japanese accents, definitely. Love the Japanese accents, definitely. 